Kem Saka had been expected to lead his Cambodian National Rescue Party in next year's election in a strong challenge against the ruling Cambodian People's Party of Prime Minister Hun Sen, who has held power for three decades. The opposition party has denied the treason allegation, saying the charge is strictly politically motivated. Kem Saka's arrest on Sunday in the middle of the night came amid a crackdown on the media. Radio stations among the few mass media to carry voices critical of the government were shut down for alleged breaches of regulations, and the English-language Cambodia Daily, also independent of the government, was forced out of business after being presented with a huge but disputed tax bill. Phnom Penh Municipal Court spokesman Lee Safina said Tuesday that Kem Saka was charged after a thorough investigation, including interrogation and examination of the evidence. The crime is punishable by 15 to 30 years in prison. A statement issued by the court said Kem Saka had secretly conspired with a foreign country to carry out an act harmful to the social order and that could cause unrest. It said he had been carrying out his plan since 1993 to topple the government step by step. Speaking to 4,000 Cambodian garment factory workers Sunday, Hun Sen claimed Kem Saka had colluded with the United States against his government and warned the opposition party it could be dissolved if it defended him. He provided no proof for his claim. The clip, which was released by the government Sunday, was published on YouTube by the Australia-based Cambodia Broadcasting Network in 2013. In it, Kem Saka says the United States hired university professors and experts in America and Canada to advise me on a strategy to change the leadership in Cambodia. A U.S. State Department spokeswoman, Heather Nauert, did not address the allegations against Washington, but issued a statement expressing grave concern over Kem Saka's arrest saying he has a long, distinguished, and internationally recognized commitment to human rights and peaceful democracy. Nauert said the detention and unprecedented restrictions recently imposed on independent media and civil society raise serious questions about the government's ability to organize credible national elections in 2018. Legal threats forced Kem Saka's predecessor as leader, Sam Rainsy, to resign this year from the opposition party. He now lives in exile.